Idempotency is one of these really important design fundamentals you should consider when designing data pipelines. So what idempotency means in a nutshell is that if you, let's say you have some source systems, and in the middle you have some business logic, you need to process that data. And then on the other side, you have the intended outcome, right? So what this means is that middle bit with the business logic, however shape and form it is in, you can run that logic once or twice or a hundred times. The output is always intended. There's no side effect, right? That's kind of a simple terms of what idempotency actually means. I want to focus on two examples here to explain how idempotency are typically applied. So the first example is a typical design with a data lake, with a data warehouse, and then you have dbt serves as the business logic layer for transformations, right? So in this design, very often you have um, duplicates in the data lake. So that could be in the form of a order that you could have uh, more than one order entry. So that could either be cause of a backfill or just because you have a CDC solution to capture all of the changes. So in those scenarios, you don't expect your data warehouse in many cases to have a duplicate of an order, right? Because when you aggregate those order numbers, the number is not going to add up correctly. In those scenarios, you would typically use, let's say, row number or ranking uh, based on the timestamp of when that order has been uh, created or changed to wrap around to the latest record. So your data warehouse is always correct. So in this case, it doesn't matter how many times that dbt job runs, you always have one order record in your data warehouse to ensure its correctness. The second example here is a common design gets used to listen to, let's say, important events from a message queue, such as your broadband has gone down, right? And then you do some processing and you want to send the customer the communication in the form of an SMS. Imagine if the customer gets the SMS for the same type of thing multiple times, but well, that would be pretty bad a customer experience, right? So, and which means it's very important for the microservice here to understand uh, whether that SMS has been sent or not, right? So this means you need to apply some sort of a state management using a database to ensure that. And because of that design consideration, now your microservice is idempotent because if you run that one times or a hundred times, that event has already been processed, right? So you would never send the same SMS about the same thing to your customer again. And hope that all makes sense. And just make sure you keep one thing always in mind, right? When you design your systems in data pipeline processing, uh, always make sure if some data gets reprocessed once or twice right no matter what happens from the upstream systems especially in this you know at least one scenario where you can receive the same thing more than once right and then making sure that downstream systems whoever you're sending that message to or your output is always as expected you never have any unintended output right okay hope that's useful Thank you very much. See you next time.